Hi guys, Joe here from Rufio. We're at Jam Towers today. Got some of the other jammers around here too have gone to nip out and do their errands and uh, keep on the team. Uh, but yeah, we're here anyway because Jam is here with his pimping deck and he wants to show us off his in Infernoid or Infernoble because I get confused now. Infernoble now? Finally changed. Finally changed. Gone from one Infern to the other. <laughs> yeah, that's what caught my attention. So uh, what is it that you like about the deck? So what I love about the deck is it puts out insanely strong boards mm -hmm. and it's got a lot of going second potential in certain cards. And I just like the combo of it and the play style of it. I like how it can play through a lot of things depending on what you're playing, mm -hmm. what your hand is. Um, and the thing that I really like about it is you can look at your opponent's hand right at the start, determine if they've got anything and then just play around it. And, and hopefully you remember it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know what half the cards do, but <laughs> you know what you know what they look like. <laughs> and that's a fifty pound card. That's going to the grave. You know? <laughs> There's a fucking seller mentality over there. <laughs> right. So uh, let's get stuck into the profile, shall we? Okay. So to start with my Infernoble list, I've got three Renauds. This card's just one of the best cards in the deck. If you've got a Fire Warrior, you can special summon it, and you can add an equip back from Grave or Banished. Take your hand. Mm -hmm. um, then three Oliver. Mm -hmm. This is the best extender in the deck. Yeah. Um, because it comes out as a tuna and its uh, cost to summon itself is just discard an equip or discard a fire warrior. Should be easy enough. Yeah. I mean, you send Phoenix Blade really early and you just summon it out for free. Mm -hmm. If you get Nibiru in certain spots, this and Nibiru makes Hulk Fiber action carry on playing. Mm -hmm. uh, one Ogier for when you want to equip it basically it's got other plays where you can normal summon it send gear freed add gear freed back with renaud etc mm -hmm. etc et but most of the time it's in the deck and it gets equipped to charles in the end phase uh two gear freeds yep gear freed is the powerhouse card going second you summon it by banishing an equip card that you control or in your grave mm -hmm. when it attacks it can equip a monster that your opponent controls it's non-targeting, right? Non-target. So you equip, uh, you attack one monster, equip their other monster. It gains 500 attack, becomes 3,500. Mm -hmm. And it's just strong. And then it can also negate a monster effect once per turn. I definitely find this like to be weirdly the most difficult thing to deal with playing into this deck. Yeah. Um, they can set this up with very little else and actually still stay in the game, which is weird, but and it you does can, work. You can just search it and summon it out practically for free. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's a huge body... And it just makes itself bigger all the time. No thoughts on playing a third potentially, or I would, but I've only got two first third collectors res at the moment. <laughs> um, I have a collectors res <laughs> unlimited. I can't play unlimited. An honest man can't be playing on limbs. Can't be playing less than collectors. Fair um, enough. Uh, it's, it's really good going second, and it's really good in a bigger list. But my list is quite small at the moment, so I don't really want to be drawing two of them at the start. Yeah, that's that's fair. Another thing it can do is it can just be a straight extender because it is a fire warrior that can special summon itself really. Mm -hmm. easy. Um, going into the main combo starters, yeah, uh, three sublimation knight. So this is one I saw people drop from their lists quite early. Um, so you you like to keep it still? Does it work well for you? So I like it because I'm trying to play more. Um, you open your starter piece and then you do your combo off of that starter piece. Mm -hmm. But this is basically an old on its own. Yeah, uh, it's not as strong as connector because you can't see your opponent's hand. Mm -hmm. But it's another way into his old mm -hmm. and having six normal summons um as well as all of your searchers plus like you can search this off of durandal you can search this off of um the other one yeah the other heritage one. yeah heritage well heritage, no, no, heritage. Search durandal so it gives you 12 ways into this plus rota i mean rota can search either but yeah rota can't search connector mm -hmm. but it can search this um also it's a fire warrior so you can summon renaud while you've got it <laughs> you just busted up Capolia. <laughs> Rota can't search connector. Rota can't search connector. No, no Rota can search connector. That's not it what can't. you said, though. Not anymore. <laughs> you said it can't search I, connector. Durandal can't search connector. There we go. Rota can search all of them. <laughs> I know what I mean. Uh, and the one Squeak Knight to 
equip off of sublimation that free summons right so then it turns itself into a zold like that with another one right yeah so normal summon uh, sublimation knight equip squeak knight squeak knight summons itself mm -hmm. and then you've got a zold yeah don't, don't use its effect when it's summoned because you just lose um connector everybody knows what this does summons up dolphin dolphin's the best card because mm -hmm. you see your opponent's hand early on you see they've got a nib and you cry a little bit and then you play around it. Mm -hmm. uh, otherwise, you get rid of the hand trap and you do full combo and just don't worry about them. Mm -hmm. uh, five Flint Lady. Yep. You control a warrior, just special summon it. Yeah. So just free extender. Yeah. Also, if this is on the field, you can tribute it to special summon a different warrior from the, uh, your hand. Um, it can come in useful. Mm -hmm. It's good if you open the Gemba. Yeah. It's good if you open the Gemba and you need you tune her out. Uh, super, uh, super Quantum Red Layer. Two this is so underrated, this card. I actually fucking love it. I'm surprised you're only playing two, to be honest. I've only got two ultras. <laughs> <laughs> Back with that mentality. There it is. There it is. <laughs> Truth um, is, not even going to try and pretend no, that there's any not. other reason. Uh, so three is correct. Yeah, if, I, I like it at two, to be honest. You don't want to see it all the time. Uh, and I don't play the Tatsunoko play, so oh, I'm not okay. worried about yeah, having a third. Okay. Um, but if you have no worries, you could just special summon it. Yeah. Um, I feel like this is one of the cards that like I worry about the most when I'm playing through boards. I'm like, they can always just have that in hand and then they've got an instant extender and they just go about their plays like normal. Yeah. But you can just search this off of a Zold early on and then when your opponent doesn't beat you, you've got one for the next turn. And it looks kind of like a Power Ranger mixed with Wolverine, which is kind of yeah. cool. This is also really good if you open this and Connector because you can special summon this, normal summon Connector, Dolphin, and Dolphin can rip a heck of a lot more out of people's hands. Um, because it's 2000, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, so, onto the one offs. I play one Dragon Ox, the Empowered Warrior. Okay, this is something a little bit different. I don't yeah. see much. So, I search this off of his old. Yeah. Um, because you can activate it in your scale on the same turn as you search it. And no other warriors you can do anything with, really. Mm -hmm. But in the battle phase, if this is in your scale, you when your opponent attacks, you can just destroy it to end the battle phase. Okay. It's actually coming up quite a lot in the games I've played because okay. a lot of people don't expect it. Nobody really has spell and trap removal and a lot of their ways to get rid of your stuff on the field is battle. Mm. Another reason it's good is if you've got Herald, most people will just summon something to try and kill Herald. Mm -hmm. If you summon something to try and kill Herald and this is on the field... It just adds that layer of protection. Yeah, it just stops them from yeah. being able to beat over Herald. Interesting choice. The Bricks, Coltwing, yep. hor horrible card, but... You have to play it in this combo. Mm -hmm. Gemba, it's all right. Um, does what it needs to do. Fire Warrior. Yeah, Fire Warrior Tuna. You summon off as old. Mm -hmm. um, Desperate One. Broken. Yeah. Um, and then for my hand traps, I play three draw. Yep. And that's the only hand trap I play. Sure. But most decks at the moment, if you drop a draw on them, they're not getting anywhere near their end board. Um, and I think there's some argument as well, because like a lot of the other hand traps don't do enough necessarily especially if you're playing a combo deck to just yeah prioritize them over combo pieces when they're not going to do anything anyway they're not going to stop their turn so you might yeah. as well just let them combo off and a lot extend of them, the game a lot of them you need at least two to do anything yeah whereas this turns off a mechanic yeah i like turning off mechanics yep uh, so for the spells i play triple ttt you, you can either carry on draw more extenders or do what the deck does and get rid of more cards in their hand. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Like, hand trap, punish them for doing so. They're now two cards down out of their hand yeah. going into their turn. And of course, yeah, like you say, going second, you can steal cards and all that good stuff. Yeah, it's, it's just pretty good. I mean, even if you get gammaed, you can steal their gamma. You can go into needle fiber and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's got lots of potential. Um, three Heritage with Chalice searches out any Infernoble Arms card or mm -hmm. uh, uh, Infernoble Monster. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so normally you search out either Durand out or one of the Infernobles that you want. This is um, like in everyone's hand, like glue this card. Everyone just opens Durandal. Yeah, Durandal's great. So you have to. Does seem that way. You have to just put it at the top of your deck. Don't yeah. worry about it. <laughs> That's why then. <laughs> so Durandal searches any Fire Warrior. Uh, if you equip it and then like destroy it, it, it searches a Fire Warrior. Mm -hmm. If it's equipped then it leaves, and the monster it's equipped to leaves the field, you can special summon a Fire Warrior from Grave. Yep. Um, but normally you just get your Infernoble or you can get your Sublimation Knight or whatever. Mm -hmm. Obviously you can equip it to your opponents once they're going second. Um, yeah. So to get your play started. Yeah. You can get your play started. And then for the one-offs, I play one Black Garden um, for the Maiden combo. Uh, one Monster Reborn as an extender. 
one rotor because it searches everything in the deck. Except connector. <laughs> Except connector. You can't search connector with this card. <laughs> um, and then for my equips, I play one Living Fossil, one Phoenix Blade, one DDR, and one Smoke Grenade. Most of the time, I don't find this useful um, because I'm not really searching it or anything. It's mm -hmm. just sat there. But if I needed a, like four equips for something, I've got five equips in my deck. If mm -hmm. you open one, and you have to summon Oliver because Gemba's stuck somewhere. It's doable. Have um, you have you play tested or put any thought into a lot of people playing the power tool with the four DDRs? I was uh, not four DDRs, three, three DDRs. DDRs. It's magic now. Uh, I was playing that for a while and I found it's very strong, but the boards don't get anywhere near as powerful as this current combo. Okay. Uh, the current combo ends on VFD, negates everywhere, pops, you, know, you destroy your opponent's hand as well. Mm -hmm. um, the old combo, was, it was a little bit more resilient but it wasn't as powerful. I like power because I like my games to be over in 15 minutes. <laughs> That's fair enough. <laughs> I can't <laughs> argue with that. You have a win or lose. Sure. Uh, so extra deck mm -hmm. uh, for my Synchro Monsters, one Formula Synchron. Um, use it just to draw a card yep. and summon it back to have a tuner. Uh, Metal Marcher. Broken. Yep. Herald, Broken. make it sometimes, but not very often. Um, Garden Rose Maiden, searches Black Garden. I don't see a lot of people playing this at the moment. No, this is the other combo that ends in VFD. So you can banish this from the grave to summon out a Dragon Synchro Monster as well. Mm -hmm. So it's, it basically gives you two free Coral Dragons. Yeah. Um, so there's a Coral Dragon to go with it. Mm -hmm. um, Omega, which I don't often make, but if I'm trying to hand rip somebody, uh, it's really good. Uh, Savage Dragon. Yep. I mean, she negate on the end of the turn. Cloud Castle just summons back a level 9 from the grave. And then that obviously makes VFD, is, right? Yeah, so you summon Crocodragon, send it to the grave, summon Cloud Castle, summon back Crocodragon, mm -hmm. VFD. And the other level 9 is Charles. Yep. Yeah. Um, so those are the synchros. And then the links. Were you, just a second, were you missing a little Charles there? Did I miss that? A what? The, the little the guy. Roland? Yeah, him, whatever yeah, he's I, called. I don't play Roland anymore. They're all the same cards to me. Yeah, I don't need the. I don't think I need the Roland okay. anymore. So all, all it does is it sends an equip from deck to grave and then searches a warrior. Mm -hmm. The board I'm putting out, you're, if I'm getting to the board, the chance of you breaking the board is very, very small. Yeah. So I'm not worried about having to pop a card on my opponent's turn. I'm not worried about having to have a warrior for the next turn. Mm -hmm. um, it searches gear free. It's like, okay, cool. Sure. Um, but yeah, the extra deck is super tight in mine. So I only get to play one as old. I'd prefer to play two, but I just don't have the space. Mm -hmm. uh, Link Cross, out, and a Warrior on. Everybody knows what these do. Yep. Standard combo in every deck at the moment. And then the one BFD, because this card's so good. Mm -hmm. um, Any changes you consider in that part so far? Or? In the current build, I, I, I love the combo that's like oh, that is in this deck at the moment yeah so i i wouldn't change anything because it's, it's kind of you have to free wins so yeah um and for the side deck the brick yeah uh the three gammas yeah the brick mm -hmm. and the free ukas because mm -hmm. you know you stop somebody on hulk and they don't really do anything but you have i have to side area purely for because of shiny you know, uh yeah i mean that as well but um <laughs> Yeah, if I summon the statue and I can't do anything with it, I lose as well. Yeah. <laughs> so I have to have something to go into on the next turn. Yeah. Um, this can also be go uh, used going first because you can special summon it when you when a monster is summoned from a deck. Okay. So you can use it as an extender if you want to. Mm -hmm. um, three Dark Ruler no more when I'm playing against decks that, like, that put up big boards and don't look at your hand. Mm -hmm. Two Lightning Storms when I'm playing against Dragon Link, basically. And let me guess, no third, no third uh, Starlight? Or no, do you just literally just want to play I, two? I, I want to play the half wow. Flavor Duster. Oh, Flavor Duster. Sometimes it comes up, like it did the other day, where I had both of these in hand, and they had a negate out. So because I had both of them, I went half Flavor Duster and then Lightning Storm. And sure. cleared their board. Um, but if I had had two Lightning Storms, it wouldn't have worked. Yeah. I mean, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, uh, thank you for taking the time to go through the profile. Any uh, shout-outs before we go? I guess you can shout yourself out, right? Yeah, I guess so. Uh, Jam Squad. Jam Squad. Um, Jam Jam Cards UK. Look me up on eBay. Um, Half of us just chilling in the room here. 
Yeah. Rule of six, we're under six, bro. We're good. <laughs> Joe's got a promo code for anybody that wants to use that. Come and get some money off. Wait, wait, yes, sir. Influencer codes? Oh, you're yeah. you, you late to that party, man. Oh, yes. You've got card market cred, don't come to me. 10% <laughs> off when you spend 10 pounds or more. Any, yeah, check oh, the link in the description. anything on the store as well. Yeah, for sure. Check the link in the description if you do want to get a nice cheeky discount. Uh, that's there and available and working this time. And if it doesn't work, let me know and I'll get the code updated for you. It's not a problem. Should be good till January now. Yeah. Cool. Well, thank you very much again for taking the time to see the profile. Really appreciate it. If you guys haven't already, you should definitely hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. This content is brought to you in association with my buddies over at Jam Jam Cards UK. You can find the links to the eBay store and the Facebook page in the description.